by Georgia Hudson Mason got out of the pocket a couple times broke it down and he wanted that last stop right there Marshall Morgan well Georgia gets some garbage points at the end uh, too little too late uh, dogs go down uh, in Jacksonville uh, this was never even really a game from the get-go. Uh, He's one of those guys that breaks the mold. <laughs> an embarrassing loss for Georgia, uh, for sure. That's that's not a shot. I'm not taking a shot at Florida, but uh, I took you know some of the trash talking videos I made. You know, somebody said, "Well, if y'all lose this game." It'd be the most embarrassing, you know, one of the most embarrassing losses you've had. So I guess it is pretty embarrassing. Uh, but I'll say this: today, uh, Florida was the better team. Uh, turn this TV down. Hold on. Well, Will Muschamp allowing himself a little emotion now. Yeah, Florida was the better team today. No excuses. Uh, they outplayed us from the. Uh, from the opening whistle. Uh, I mean, they uh, ran it down our throat. Uh, it's kind of funny. They they did to us really what we've been doing to, to other teams this year because we can't throw the ball either. Uh, and we knew you guys were going to run it, especially after the first quarter. It was pretty obvious that, you know, that's, that's all you guys were going to do. And we just couldn't stop it. Uh, you, you really weren't even running different different running plays it was really that that trap play with where the guard would pull one way or the other and running back run right behind him and uh i mean eight nine yards a pop uh, of course several big runs too uh, several runs over 30 and 40 yards uh that your running backs had and our defense had no answer at all couldn't shut it down uh six pass attempts florida had for the whole game, uh, Trayon Harris was three for six, uh, just completely dominated the line of scrimmage. Florida did, uh, and once we fell behind, uh, we just couldn't dig ourselves out of the hole. Uh, yeah, uh, Nick Chubb, uh, he, he had a hundred yards in the first quarter. I, I, I don't know what he, I, I don't even know what he had after that, but it wasn't more than. 40 or 50 yards after that uh so y'all shut him down well it was a comment y'all you, you, you did slow him down some uh but we we sort of had to abandon uh that running game too because we fell behind uh and uh of course hudson mason can't throw the ball when people asked me what worried me about this game or if there was anything that worried me about this game uh, that's what I told them. Uh, if any of you listened to the radio show last week, I think I talked about it then, or it might have been the week before. But I said, well, if Georgia ever falls behind by a couple of touchdowns in a game, especially in the second half, uh, the odds of us coming back to win that game won't be very good because we can't throw the ball. Hudson Mason can't throw any more than an eight yard out. Uh, yeah, he, you know, he put up some numbers in the fourth quarter, but let's face it, Florida was playing a prevent defense in the fourth quarter. What did Florida care? Uh, if Hudson Mason completed a few passes in the fourth quarter, they just didn't want to give up the long bomb. So that doesn't show me anything about Hudson Mason that he was able to put up a few numbers against a prevent defense late in the fourth quarter when the game was already over. So, uh, yeah, Florida was the better team. Uncle Lou not making any excuses. That's not what I do. Uh, you can go back and watch my Crow video from the Carolina game, too. Said the same thing after that game. Uh, Carolina was better. They beat us. Uh, Florida was better. They beat us. Uh, wasn't even close. Uh, really wasn't even as it wasn't even as close as the score indicated because we did get a, we got a couple of touchdowns in the fourth quarter with y'all in that prevent defense. But yeah, y'all just dominated us the whole game. Uh, a cornered cat is a dangerous animal. You know, we we beat Clemson the first game of the year. Uh, and then, we, you know, all the players had to sit around and listen to everybody tell them how great they were for two weeks because they had an off week after the Clemson game. What do they do? They show up in Columbia uh, and get beat. Uh, well, Gurley sits out two games. We humiliate Missouri and Arkansas. Same thing happens all over again. Everybody sits around telling Georgia how good they are. 
Uh, and then they show up in Jacksonville and lay an egg. Uh, so I guess this is just the team that we are this year. Uh, this, uh, sorry, I'm trying to listen to these, the end of the interviews there, but uh, Missouri won today, beat Kentucky, or at least last I checked, they're beating Kentucky. So they're winning the East right now because uh, uh, they only have one loss, but they still have four SEC games left. So I, I still, I, I still think Georgia wins the East, uh, but this loss definitely hurts. So Augusta Gator, uh, I'm sorry, sir. You were right and I was wrong. Gator Boo, uh, you were right. Uncle Lou was wrong. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys had a good time at the game. I really wish I could have gone down there. Uh, I, I I really tried to work it out. Unfortunately, uh, with it being Halloween yesterday and the kids and all that, I just I wasn't able to make it work. But uh, I know you guys had a great time, especially since Florida won. Um, but I uh, mean, I'm sure y'all would have had a good time regardless. But really wish I could have came. Uh, but yeah, y'all were right. Uh, I was wrong. Florida's the better team today. Uh, there's no question about it. I don't know what other Georgia fans. Uh, yep, sorry about that. Uncle Lou's phone cut off. Uh, so I had to go charge it up for a few minutes. Finish this. Uh, finish this crow video for you. Uh, yep, but. Uh, I think I was in the process of uh, congratulating Augusta Gator and Gator Boo. Those are the two uh, Florida video makers uh, that I'm aware of. So congratulations to y'all. Uh, Florida was the better team today. No doubt about it. Can't blame this on, uh, on uh, anything other than the fact that Florida was the better team. That's it. No excuses. We got outplayed. Uh, you guys uh, owned us on special teams. Uh, you guys whipped our defense uh, for four quarters. Uh, and uh, with the exception of the first quarter, uh, Georgia's offense really couldn't do anything for the second, third, and fourth quarter of this game. Uh, so congratulations to all the Florida fans, um, especially Augusta Gator and Gator Boo, uh, the video makers. Uh, if there's anybody I forgot to mention uh, or didn't mention, uh, I'm sorry. If I didn't mention you, uh, it's because either I forgot uh, or you're not important enough uh, to be mentioned by Uncle Lou. Uh, one of the two. You can figure out which one it is. Uh, Yep, so, uh, oh, Augusta Gator, we did have a bet. I didn't forget, sir. Uh, so let me know how you want to handle that. Um, I'll put my uh, email address either in the description of this video or in, or in the comments on this video. And uh, I don't know, maybe you, maybe you want to email me. Uh, I can send you my phone number. We can get together uh, whenever is convenient for you, sir. Uh, you just let Uncle Lou know, my man of my word. I'm not looking forward to this bet. Not gonna lie, uh, Uncle Lou can <laughs> Uncle Lou can barely eat a medium hot chicken wing. I, I, I'm not a fan of hot foods at all. Uh, when I get nachos, I eat. I, I get mild salsa. If I order chicken wings uh, out somewhere, I get mild wings. I'm not a fan of hot food at all. So this is this is gonna be miserable for me. But a bet's a bet. Uh, so let me know what we need to do uh, uh, to make that happen, sir, uh, and we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and uh, hats off to Will Muschamp. Uh, I guess uh, back on the support Muschamp uh, train here. Hashtag support Muschamp. Uh, yep, best thing that can happen now. Uh, go ahead and give Muschamp an extension, too. That's right. I feel like he's earned it. Uh, he deserves another four or five years at Florida. Today was just an, an amazing game. Uh, you have to give Muschamp all the credit for this win. Uh, so, uh, he, he deserves another few years down there. Uh, that being said, uh, go dogs and good morning, too.